it's difficult to do any peripheral nerve procedure in isolation. And when you're operating in this part of the body, again, it's, it's complex anatomy. There's, you're down deep and there's large blood vessels and other you know, important nerves that you could easily damage. You can get into bad bleeding. So you have, to, you have to sort of be brave and you have to have good technique and you have to um, be willing to work with these patients and sort of you know, help them along through this process. I think be before these procedures become widespread, um, chronic pain-focused peripheral nerve surgery will have to become much more um, accessible, meaning there will have to be programs that really teach this. You know, eventually it will be, but it may take 50 years, 100 years, I'm not really sure. There's a, there's a big difference between someone who calls themselves a peripheral nerve surgeon but does mainly reconstructive peripheral nerve surgery and someone who focuses on the chronic pain side of peripheral nerve surgery. It's, it's, it's night and day different from each other. Mm -hmm.